come across me Starting up a brand new day It could happen to you Just like it happened to me Okay, Connor, my, when I think about you, I have three memories. One is um, you and Nikki crawling on the floor together at our house, at your mom and dad's house, and you guys were still in diapers, just like literally crawling on the floor and taking naps together. That's number one. Number two is when we would have your birthday parties together and we would drive to Las Vegas every year for the party and you and Joey and Nikki would all celebrate your birthdays and you guys, you and Nikki would be in high chairs with these big cakes in front of you. And number three, when you moved here and you lived with us and you and Nikki went to school together and on the same baseball team and it was just so incredible. Connor, I have great memories of the time we spent with you and just always remember your, you know, your uh, bright, uh, cheery smile, and it's always uh, such a pleasure to see you. And my clear and best memories are uh, up on the baseball field or out here in our front yard, your front yard, throwing the ball around. And, uh, um, you know, you, you were a, a great little Little League baseball player, and, you know, of course, our great season there with the Astros. Long may you run. Long may you run, although these changes have gone. Hey Connor, um, With your so many memories of you from five years old up till, God, I think 15 or so. I have memories of you being my star pitcher. I have memories of you being an awesome hitter, um, outspoken, a leader hysterically funny. I remember you uh, slamming your face into a skateboard at Luke's birthday party and I'm feeling incredibly guilty about that but you bounce back. I remember your big smile and you are always raising your hand and you are not shy to share your opinions and you are not too shy to speak in Japanese and you are very happy at El Marino school the whole year you were in my class you are always smiling every day when sundown pales the sky I want to hide a while behind your smile Everywhere I'd look, your eyes would find. People stop dying, and countries like don't have to use weapons, and and no more violence. You know, you always did your best, and when you made mistake, you kept trying until you got it right, and you never gave up, and then, so you had a perseverance, and then you enjoyed it, and when you come. Completed, you you show you had a huge joy of accomplishment, and I hope you remember that and you keep trying. And even if sometimes some things get gets really difficult, I hope you keep trying and trying until you feel that sense of accomplishment again. And keep keep smiling. Found me to love you now would be the sweetest thing. Would make me sing, I but I may as well try and catch the wind. My first day of 
from Japanese school. And how are you feeling? Mm, nervous. Huh? Um, nervous and excited. You're feeling all right. Oh, oh. I'm not feeling too good myself. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. You're feeling all right. Oh, oh. I'm not feeling that good myself. So Connor, my sweetie, my first experience of you was at kindergarten. We have known each other all that time and I have loved you since day one. And this is not the end of the journey, incidentally. This is just somewhere in the middle and I'm looking forward to more and more. You were the sweetest little silly, tiny little guy who was just adorable uh, in amongst all of the Japanese kids at El Marino. And I so enjoyed those five years watching you, the blonde one, in the middle of everybody, doing your damnedest to speak Japanese and, you know, soccer and basketball. Many happy memories like surfing off to Scorpion Bay, so many snowboarding trips, breaking arms, breaking knees, uh, all sorts of things. And most recently, you and Liam and I going off to uh, Mammoth together for season 13 or something, which was such a happy time for me. Connor, congratulations on uh, your graduation. Um, you're Benno's oldest friend and a big reason that he got into hockey, which has been a big part of his life for the last 11 years. I really thank you for inspiring him that first day at Culver Ice Arena to want to play hockey and to want to watch you. We went for a whole season just watching you play before he ever got on the ice. And I appreciate all you've meant to him and how you've been such good friends for so long. <laughs> Congratulations on your graduation. Um, I thought I'd send some good vibes your way uh, and just share my appreciation for having had the opportunity to teach you for a couple of years or more. Here you are, 10 years ago, out in front, and I have to say that your bravery is Admir or was admirable, I assume it still is.
Um, not only did you get through this recital, but you got through four more. And I remember at one of those recitals, your hands were shaking like leaves. But um, <laughs> you did very well, and I thought it was really cool that you kind of stuck with it, and hopefully you learned something, whether it was with piano or music or life. And um, hopefully when you listen to music or, or maybe play or, you know, are around people playing or something that, that you, you understand, appreciate a little bit. But um, just personally, I think you're a great guy and that you're going to have a bright future. And I send all the best wishes, all my best wishes to you. West. It's been quite a few years. I'm very excited and proud that you're graduating from Hamilton. I remember the first time I saw you at your house um, after you were in my class and I realized we lived on the same block. That was so strange. I just thought you were a kid in my class that and had no idea uh, that you were the little blonde haired kid that was playing basketball out in front of your house with your dog when I would walk my dogs and then you ended up in my classroom. So I hope you had a great time at Palms and enjoyed playing the saxophone. You did really well there and was a great asset to the school and played a lot of concerts. So I hope you uh, continue that in your future and um, have a great time at college. memory of you, Connor, is the day that you were born. Your parents gave me the greatest gift that I've ever had and I'm ever likely to receive, and that was to be with them when you came into the world. It was pretty amazing, and I will never, ever forget it. There is a photograph of you and my computer at home. You and Aunt Mary are in the library of the United States Supreme Court, and the two of you are looking at a case that Aunt Mary argued. We've had some really great trips with you, Connor, and those are full of so many memories and so many happy times, including lots of chocolate sundaes eaten after dinner together when we were in Washington. And one of the memories that stays with me about that trip was when we went to see the memorial to the Japanese. It's a very small little memorial and not many people really make it over there, but we did and we wanted you to see it. And we were going to take a picture as we'd done throughout the trips to have a memory of it. And you were very serious and paused and said you didn't want to have a picture taken because it didn't seem right to smile in a place like that.
<laughs> I like to dress like you. Connor, do you remember the time I was driving the boys around and I was telling you what a shame it is that you guys aren't very street smart? And your answer to me is, what are you talking about? I know every street in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I think of this cute little boy that used to come in my house and always said hi to me and always was polite and always had something nice to say but you were always very quiet in a lot of funny ways but you know what you've been such an amazing friend to Brandon and Brandon's been an amazing friend to you and it's really cute to see you guys going off to college together well, I just heard the news today it seems my life is gonna change. I close my eyes. I want to say congratulations. Uh, well done. You're off to Boulder. Uh, you may know we're coming too. And uh, I look forward to many more happy memories. So for you, big hugs and kisses, much love. Uh, you always have another home here, you know that. It's gonna be a great, grand adventure. And it's such an accomplishment. And I just hope that you take advantage of all the opportunities that you're gonna get. And I want you to know that um, that our hearts and our home are always open to you. コナー君。今もう大学生にもうすぐなるっていうのは信じられませんね。コナー君よく頑張りましたね。コロラドの大学に行くんですよね。Connor, too bad you're not going to UCLA. You know, that is my favorite school. But I am gl glad you're going to college. And I hope you have a great time. But I hope you really study and get something out of it and appreciate it at the time. If you were wondering whether it's possible to smoke pot from the time you're 15 till you're 22 and still graduate college and still go on to be um, a responsible adult, I can tell you that I'm living proof of that. And if you want to start life all over again and make changes, you can do it. And this is the time to do it. We want you to work hard. We want you to achieve the goals that you set for yourself and you think are important. Things that help people and things that make you feel that your life is worth living. All the choices from here on are yours. We wish you well. We wish you good choices. So be good in Colorado and learn how to be street smart. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean we want to know all the streets. We're